Hi, it's Dia. And I'm just gonna color Penelope today. I just finished this picture, which is called Penelope's Haunted House. And I started coloring it and I thought, why not just color, color Penelope? And what I'm gonna do today is just a little quickie version of her. I've drawn her and colored her several different ways. Um, she's had black hats and she's had white hats, but my favorite version of her has a purple hat. So that's how I'm gonna do it today. Th these are polychromos pencils. This one is mauve. And that's kind of funny because this looks nothing like mauve to me. I think I would have called this one maybe violet. Although that's violet, which is clearly a different color from that. So yeah, that's not in my cards, naming the pencils colors, but I don't know. To me, this doesn't look like mauve. All I'm doing now is getting a feel for where the hat is going to be the darkest. And a lot of times when there's a bend in the shadow part, like right here, you go a little bit darker. And I might even go back in there later with some black or go over the front part of it with some white to make it a highlight. I'm going to press a little bit lighter here just so it stands out from the rest of the hat because this part of it's tipped over. Go a little bit darker under here because of the shadow. also because there's a, a bend so maybe there's a bend upward in that direction. I'm going to leave that band. I'll probably color that either green or maybe like a periwinkle blue so it stands out. And underneath this band, I'm gonna go a little bit dark. I'm gonna press a little bit harder. Not much, you don't really have to with the polychromos pencils. I'm gonna go a little bit darker right here because it looks like there might be a natural bend in the hat. And then go lighter next to it, you know, for, the, for a wavy effect. And I'll leave it a little bit lighter on the other side too, because there'd probably be a bump there also. I hope you can see what I'm talking about right there. It kind of looks like it goes up and then down. And make the edges of the hat a little bit darker. Because dark in general recedes and light brings something forward. So, right, leaving it lighter in the middle, darker on the edges, gives it a rounded appearance. I'm 
gonna give it a little bit of a shade here too because she might be in the shadow of the door. Now I go back and forth when I color. Some people truly finish one area and then move on to the next. That is not my thing. I can't do that very well. I look I, I look at the whole area that I'm coloring. I'm looking how it looks compared to other areas. So yeah, I kind of admire that because it's like they have the whole vision in their head. That's not my thing though. Now these two little areas right here are the underneath part of her hat. And I could make them black like a shadow, but what I think I'm gonna do to make it stand out, because behind her in these areas it's gonna be dark, I'm gonna make this kind of like a an acidy green so it stands out. And maybe it looks like it's lit from underneath see over here it looks like there's a glowing funny greenish light coming from under you could even put a little bit of that light on the edge of the hat okay um I think I'm gonna make her hair black, but with almost like a real mauve or my version of mauve or even a little bit fuchsia highlight. So as soon as I can find that color, oh, and by the way, this color was and is cadmium yellow lemon also polychromos. Okay, this color, which is going to be the highlights, is crimson polychromos. So I'm going to put the highlights in first. I'm going to push pretty hard because I want them to be bright. going to take a little white on top of it to make it even go a little bit brighter. Now this is a Prismacolor black and I'm going to do her hair. Prisma colors are nice and soft and they blend so well. But the only problem is that they get unsharp more quickly. I'm just gonna make a quick point. They get unsharp more quickly than polychromos. a little white and blend it. For those of you that don't have a an actual blending pencil, I find that white is great for blending.
checking to make sure it's still focused. Okay, now I'm gonna take a do the same color you know what I changed my mind I'm gonna use cobalt blue for her headband again darker on the edges and then light I'll leave a little bit of white right in the center as a highlight now I've done Penelope's face green I've done it um, regular skin color but today it's kind of gonna be a combination um, I'm gonna use I'm going to use Oh, cinnamon is a little dark. Let me see if I can find a peachier color. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Light flesh. I'm going to start on the edges. hands and I'm going to use a little bit of this green again the cadmium lemon underneath her chin to make it almost look like there's a reflection of the light glowing on her also not too much I'm gonna get a regular pink. Oh, I'm gonna get a different pink. I'll use light magenta. Give her some cute cheeks. Little half moons. Go over her mouth a little tiny bit and make her nose a little bit, a little bit highlighted, but not much, just so you can sort of notice it. Then I go underneath the light I'm sorry, underneath her hat and make it a little dark there because there would normally be a shadow and it would make the skin look a little bit darker. Now I'm pondering what color I should make her shirt or her dress. Once again, that's been black, that's been blue, that's been almost every color. I'm just fussing around a little bit here while I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, today, I think her dress will be gray, just for a change. So what I'm going to do is start out with cold gray, kind of appropriate. And I'm going to go lightly over the whole area because this gray is so light that will be able to make shadows over it without it needing any erasers or even highlights. Okay, now I'm gonna go one shade gray darker, or maybe a couple of shades. In, in my eyes, it's one shade. Oh, this is warm gray five. Okay, so. A little bit of shadows there, a little bit of shadows on the edges, because once again, the bodies, and bodies do have a rounded shape, they're not flat. I'm gonna kind of go up this way a little bit, so there's a little bit of a crease in her dress.
few little bit of creases under the arms. I'm not going to do too much just for the sake of the length of the video. I think I'm going to make her stockings a little witchy. That doesn't look dark enough, so I'm going to go one shade brighter. Light green. Once again, these are all polychromos. And then I'm going to take a darker purple. This is blue violet. take the Prismacolor Blender and blend in her dress. Now I'm looking at her face a little bit closer. She probably could use a little more shading. Dark around, the edge, dark around the edges of her face too, and underneath her chin, gives dimension. I'm gonna make her eyes a little blacker, a little bit bigger. I'm gonna take the black and go underneath here, underneath the little band. Do some on the edges and some underneath the edge of her hat. Blend it in with that acidy green. I'm gonna give her little eyebrows too. They're very light. I like that, that's cute. Now I'm just kind of fussing around. shadow underneath. I'm going to add a little bit of detail to the back of the dress. And I'm going to take the blender and blend her hat. The blender makes the colors stand out more. In my opinion, it makes them more vibrant. And that probably has a little bit of the blue and the purple on it, so I'm just gonna add it to her shirt. And then I'm gonna take a gel pen. I love this gel pen. It's a Signo Uniball. And I'm going to add some extra highlights. I'm going to add a little dot in her eye. Well, each of her eyes, I should say. I'm going to add some highlights on her hat. In the center here. Anywhere light would hit. So there's, whoops, sorry about that. There's a quickie demo of Penelope. I'll be doing more. Um, I'll probably finish this video. Uh, I'm sorry, I'll probably finish this picture on video for anybody who wants to color along with me. This is the actual first time that I'm coloring it myself. So if anybody gets this, I'd be very interesting. Uh, I would be interested to see what you do. It's in my Etsy shop and uh, it will eventually be in Penelope's garden. So please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, follow me here on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or Twitter. Um, 
I would love you to join in on the colorings and I'll see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.